And now to your health and a major breakthrough in the fight against Alzheimer's. And it was made right here in Houston. Health reporter Haley Hernandez is here with the UTMB development that could change so many lives. Haley. That's right, guys. So we've all probably heard of that amyloid protein with Alzheimer's, right? But UTMB has made a groundbreaking discovery that could lead to the ultimate end of the disease. They've found while amyloid starts the disease, there's another protein that progresses it. And by attacking that protein, they're on the cusp of something amazing. This is the lab at UTMB where Dr. Raquez Kayed and his team have developed a nasal spray that could unlock the secret to curing Alzheimer's. They are known in this lab worldwide. You might be familiar with other pharmaceuticals entering the market that attack amyloid plaque. Newer drugs are aiming to delay progression of Alzheimer's by targeting amyloid. But Dr. Kayed says they fall short of eliminating the protein that he says is responsible for the progression of the disease, the tau protein. The amyloid is the trigger and uh, tau is the one who kills the cells. Once these cells start to accumulate this tau, then they become dysfunctional, they cannot communicate with each, other, with each other, then they impair the memory. So we designed a drug that only lashes on the bad tau. In early studies with mice, the team can already prove the drug works. The animals improved within three weeks. And the good news is by making the drug a nasal spray, they overcome another hurdle of getting it to cross into the blood brain barrier. Yeah, normally less than 1% of the drug penetrates the brain. But here we administer this tiny fraction and almost all, it, all of it gets into the brain. Saying that he wants to cure Alzheimer's is a bold enough statement, but he's not just stopping there. He's talking about this curing six different diseases. The goal is to cure at least six, seven of these aging diseases, which is Alzheimer, Parkinson's, dementia with Lewy body. Because illnesses like that, he says, are also caused by the tau protein. This is why we developed not one drug. We developed six of them. This is the first. Hopefully the others will follow suit. So that first drug to treat Alzheimer's is still moving through clinical trials. Dr. Kayed says optimistically this could get to the market in three years. He says if it does get held up along the way, it could take up to seven years. But he says with certainty that he thinks his drug is going to be ready within the next decade. Wow. I mean, that is amazing. Amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I was asking you, uh, can people take it as a preventative if you know Alzheimer's runs in your family? So obviously that's what they've got a long way to go with the trials and they've got to replicate all of these results in humans still. Uh, I believe that what he's explaining is that they're only attacking the tau protein that gets out of control and the bad tau, right? Uh -huh. So I think you'd have to have the diagnosis in order to attack that protein. But this is stuff that they're still looking at. They're still studying. It's just really amazing what they've been able to prove in mice. In mice, their memory was recovered in three weeks. They got their movement wow. back. They were able to walk again. It is really incredible. So now he has to replicate that in people. And it's incredible. It's more than just one drug that they're working on. Yeah. More than one disease. To yeah. Have. Right. And, and doing it through the nasal spray, they can they can easily recreate that in for many different drugs. Yeah. That's awesome. Three years is like lightning fast. It is. Yeah. yeah. All right. Really amazing. Thank you. Thanks, guys.